Hey guys, Andy here with AM Pure Maple Syrup. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Joyson X100. Uh, this is one of our most popular vacuum pumps that we sell. We sell the X100, the X40, and the X25. So it's going to be fairly similar setup for each vacuum pump. Uh, each one's controlled by a VFD, that thing that's flashing over there. Um, these are three phase pumps. So we're converting 220 to three phase through the VFD. By doing this, we can take this vacuum pump, which is normally a three, four horse, or three horse pump, and we can run it on about seven amps. So it's very efficient for power consumption. Works good if you have generators, um, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna show you on one of these control boxes of how we wire it together. So first you gotta take this cover off. So when you get it from us, this is what it's gonna look like inside. So there's gonna be this longer wire. This is part of your continuity circuit. S1 to common, that's your part of your continuity circuit. PW to plus 24, it's got this little loop right here. This just stays right there. Um, so what the continuity circuit is all about, if you want to tie a thermostat or anything like that to it, normally we just put a switch in it if we're not going to use a thermostat. If you don't, if you don't put a switch in it of some sort, your vacuum pump will not run. Your VFD will light up, but your vacuum pump will not turn on if you do not break the continuity in this switch right here. So you need to add a thermostat or a wire or a switch of some sort. So I'm going to show you guys how we wired ours together. So this is our panel and you can see on the left hand side you have one, two, and three. Those are your power wires coming in. So one is your ground and then two and three are your hot sun for 220 coming in. And then on this side it's seven, eight, and nine. So seven, eight, and nine those are your three phase power coming back out and going to the pump. So on eight is always black. That goes always to the center of the pump on the switch. And now your green, or seven and nine, your green and your white, those are interchangeable. So if you turn your vacuum pump on and it's running backwards or running really rough sounding, it's probably running backwards. So you can interchange seven and nine. So you can do it either down here on the pump or you can do it up here in the VFD. So when I was talking about the continuity circuit earlier, so S1 in common, that would be these two wires here, the brown and the yellow. So the brown and the yellow on this setup is just a light switch. That's all we did, something simple. You could do a thermostat if you would like. So it would automatically turn on and off when the temperature hits the correct correct timing um, but in this case we just did a light switch so try to keep it simple um, we just used some DC wire used for trailer trailer lights and stuff like that so on the vacuum pump itself there's a couple things about it on the vacuum pump we use an inch and a quarter to inch and a half it's threaded on the bottom glue on the top so the inch and a quarter there's a little screen mesh down in here and on, if you just take the standard threads and screw it all the way down, it's gonna hit that mesh and this isn't gonna bottom out and get a tight seal. So what you need to do is you need to cut off about a quarter to half an inch of your threads on this fitting before you screw it down. And then typically what we like to do is there's an O-ring that comes with the air filter that comes with this pump. We take the O-ring off the air filter, put it on the threads on here or over top, Crank her down and get a nice tight seal. So <clears throat> on this pump, this pump, it likes to run warm. So we like to keep this pump at 160 to 170 degrees. I'm talking about like right in here. So shoot it, get yourself a heat gun, shoot it, figure out the temperature on this pump. If the reason we run this pump so warm is because if there's any vapors that get through the moisture trap somehow, and get into the oil that will burn the oil or that will burn the moisture out of the oil so that's why we like to run them hot um, so if the pump isn't getting hot enough though you can build a box around it it's pretty easy you can just build a little box right here 
and whatever you gotta do to close it in enough just so it can build that temp. Because here's your exhaust here. We typically let it just exhaust right here in the building. Um, this is an eight by 12. Uh, this building would probably be 80 degrees in here in a nice 40 degree day. This pump will raise it in a lot of heat off of here. So on this pump here, after you get it, everything wired in, you get everything plumbed in the way you want it. All we gotta do is flip the switch. Okay, now she's turning on. She kind of sounds a little rough when she first starts off, but she'll smooth right out. And it's got a slow start, so it takes 10, 15 seconds to get all the way up to temp, or all the way up to speed. But that's a lot nicer than just fast speed. So now she's getting, she's all the way up to speed now, she's starting to build vacuum. Climbing down, we're starting to create vacuum. should top out about 29 inches of vacuum but we use a lot of these vacuum pumps this one in particular is a 52 CFM pump um, they're, they're priced very well and we sell a lot of them but thanks for watching